Well, hello, beautiful teachers. Uh, it's Tim here, and uh, sorry for the late start to today's Facebook Live. Uh, I, uh, I hope you can hear me. Let, let me know if you can hear me, by the way, when you, uh, when you log in. Um, today's call is all about uh, working out how much you can actually spend on your Facebook advertising. So as you may well know, we're doing a feature this uh, month with a webinar coming up all about Facebook advertising because this, along with Google Ads, are two of your key ways of bringing more students into your studio. But the big question always is, uh, how do I work out how much I can actually afford to spend on ads given the amount of students that they might be bringing in? So what I wanted to do today was talk to you about something called Lifetime Value, LTV. All right, Kat. Oi, Bronson. Trish. Uh, uh, the usual Bronson business going on behind me behind the screen, um, lifetime value. So this is the total amount of income that you are likely to get from any particular student. Because if you can work out what that amount of money is, then you can work out how much you can afford to spend to acquire that new student through things like Facebook ads. Now, lifetime value and the calculations and the thinking around marketing for your studio, um, it, it's not just related to Facebook advertising. This is related to uh, all aspects of your studio. So, so think about this. Let's say, just for absolute simplicity, that a student you get today stays with you for uh, 10 months and you charge them $10 a month. So their total lifetime value in one year is $100. So let's just say that, okay? Just for simplicity. So you've made $100 from them in one year. Let's say they tend to stay with you for only one year. So the lifetime value of a student to you is actually $100. So what that means in effect is that if you're spending, let's say $20 on an ad and you pick up one student, then you've effectively made $80. If you spend $100 on that ad and the lifetime value of that student is $100, then you've made no money at all because you spent all your marketing has been taken up by the amount that um, you have drawn in as income. So of course, th the great thing about it is that $100 is a silly amount. We're not likely to be charging so little that the lifetime value of our student would be only $100. So how do you actually work out the lifetime value? Well, I am more than happy I'm very excited to share with you this lifetime value calculation sheet, which we're gonna have a bit of a look at today and I'll give you the download code in just a moment. And again, I'll talk through it and then I'll let you download it so that you can watch the video again with a pen and actually go through this. But look, the calculations are pretty much just as I said a moment ago. So the first question is to work out how long on average, does a student stay in your studio? So if you've got a pen in front of you now and you've got just, well, this is gonna be a pretty quick Facebook Live today. How many months on average does a student spend in your studio? Just write it down, have a bit of a quick think. Do they stay with you 10 years? Do they stay with you maybe three or five years? Multiply that by 12, get the number of months. So that's the average uh, duration in months that a student is spending with you. Now the next question therefore is, what's the average income that you get from a student per month? Now, as many of you know, I changed to monthly billing uh, a couple of years ago and have never looked back. Automated monthly billing, it's absolutely the way to go. Give me a thumbs up if you're now doing automated monthly billing because it, it simplifies things so, so much. I have a full worksheet on monthly billing and moving to that and how to do it and how to calculate it at timtopham.com slash monthly. Uh, if that's of interest to you and you haven't done that already. Um, but what is that monthly value of a student? So let's let's say you charge um, $35 for 45 minutes. I guess that's about a $50 per hour rate. Uh, and some of you may remember that I did a big survey of my whole community, uh, whole email list actually earlier this year. And by far the biggest majority of people around the whole world are charging between 40 and $60 an hour US dollars. So if you're in that bracket, bracket, you're probably in the right spot. So let's say you charge $35 for a 45 minute lesson, for example, and you give a student 35 of those, uh, four of those lessons a month, you can calculate that out. So the next, next thing to work out is that average income per student per month. 
Now, with those two details, you've got your lifetime value. Just multiply them together. So the amount of money that you make from a student in a month times the number of months on average that they stay with you. What's that figure? Can you give me a calculation now? You don't have to share it with everyone. But if you're doing this and working along with this uh, wherever you are, then maybe that's a good thing that you can quickly do now as a little back of the napkin kind of uh, calculation. So lifetime value gives you the amount of money that you're going to bring in from any particular student in the space of the time that they tend to spend with you. So you can now think a little bit more strategically about the money that you can spend acquiring that student. So for example, we, we mentioned before, uh, I did that silly calculation of a lifetime value being $100. Of course, it, it's very unlikely to be. But let's say, let's be very conservative and let's say you've got a lifetime value of $1,000 and that's a really low lifetime value. Let's say you spend $1,000 on ads and you get one student who will be worth $1,000 to you. Well, you've broken even, right? You've made no money, you haven't lost any money. And if you spend, and this is where it gets powerful, if you spend that $1,000, but you get two students, then you've effectively doubled the money that you've put in. And if you ended up getting 10 students, then you've done very well indeed. So it's a really great way to work out exactly how much you can spend on your students. So if you haven't done this calculation, regardless of whether you want to do Facebook ads or not, really, find out what the lifetime value of your students are, generally is. How many years do they stay? How much do you bring in per year from them? It will give you a really good idea of the kinds of ways that you can spend money in the future on these kinds of things. Now, of course, the final uh, part of the puzzle, and my note down here, is how do you know how many conversions you're getting per ad? that you spend. And that's all to do with something that I mentioned last week called the Facebook Pixel. And I'm very pleased to know, uh, to let you know that as part of our webinar release, which is coming up next weekend, and I'm about to give you the sign up for that as well, our specialist, Andrea Val, has created a course which will be released in the Inner Circle. And one of the modules is all about the Facebook Pixel. And really, if you have, you're approaching ads in a, in a serious way at all, you must have this pixel installed because otherwise you will have no idea how much value you're getting from your ads. You will never know whether the $100 that you spend on an ad converted to one student or five students or no students. So the Facebook pixel is vital and Andrea, who's joining us on this webinar, has created a complete module showing you how to set this up. So you don't even need to hire developers or any kind of helpers to do it, which is a pretty amazing um, shortcut. So let me tell you first uh, about getting this download. So if you'd like this download, uh, you can pop the word value below, lifetime value calculation worksheet. If you'd like to grab that now, just pop the word value into the comments, just write value, uh, and we will send that through via my little tricky bot. Uh, and secondly, and really, I'm very excited to let you know, <coughs> excuse me, that the next webinar is ready to go and ready to sign up. So if you'd like to sign up for the next webinar, you can head to timtopham.com slash webinar. I think I can type it in here for you. timtopham.com slash webinar. And that's going to get you signed up for this amazing webinar that we're running with Andrea Val. Now remember, Andrea is an international or acclaimed author, specialist, speaker. She is the go-to person for massive businesses around the world. And she's joining us on the webinar to talk all things Facebook ads. And the most amazing thing I think is that Andrea normally charges thousands of dollars for her time, literally, like none of us would be able to afford it but she's coming on to help us and help piano teachers specifically uh, on this webinar and it's all completely free. So if you've got any questions at all that you'd like to ask her, you'll be able to do it on the webinar. So once you've got your value worksheet, uh, by typing value into the comments, then please head to timtopham.com slash webinar and you'll be able to sign up for that and I hope you'll be able to. Uh, and what we might do is actually just push a little message through uh, sometime next week 
uh, to make sure that you've been able to sign up correctly. And just to remind you in case you're um, keen on that. And the actual webinar will be Saturday morning here in Australia, 8 a.m. on the 20th of October, which will be Friday evening, 10 p.m. in London, and 5 p.m. and 2 p.m. Pacific in America on the Friday night, the 19th of October. So that's not this Friday, uh, but the one after. So if you really are interested in building your studio numbers uh, and finding students without having to sort of put flyers in post boxes and things like that, then remember, as I mentioned in last week's Facebook Live, if you're able to join us, one of the most amazing things about Facebook is the minute targeting that you can do. You can find someone with the most tiny little demographic traits that you want. So if you just want to find the, the mums that love crocheting in Ottawa, then bang, you can find all those people. Or if you want to find the dads who like going to the gym, I don't know why you'd want to do that. But anyway, you can do it on Facebook. That's the amazing thing about it. So I really hope you'll join us on that webinar, timtopham.com slash webinar. And I hope you enjoy this lifetime value calculation worksheet. It's a really simple calculation, nothing too difficult at all. Anyone can do it, but it's not something that many of us take the time to do and we're certainly not taught to do it either. So uh, I hope that's been helpful for you. If you've got any questions, feel free to leave a comment now. I'll start wrapping things up. I was only gonna do a short one today. Again, apologies for the late start. Uh, I know many of you who follow my page will know that I've um, recently become a foster parent. And uh, uh, as anyone who is a parent uh, will know, you can give me a little uh, love heart or a thumbs up if you're a parent out there. Um, I'm learning very quickly how exhausting it is and how uh, time frames don't kind of work out quite as well as you had thought and things interrupt and all that. So it's been an amazing experience already. We've been doing it for a couple of weeks. Um, and uh, But I do apologize. That was why I was a little bit late to the party today. But uh, great to see so many people here. We've got uh, Mary and Joyce, I see, uh, and Jacqueline as well. Jacqueline, that's a very familiar name. I've seen you a fair few times. And also Claire Mann, that's great. Um, Mary says, after downloading last week's, I could not get the link to work. Yeah, Mary, there, there, there is a link in that um, last week's download. You'll just need to save that file to your computer before clicking it will actually work. Uh, so I think that might be perhaps where you might have um, missed that. Uh, we, we just, I, I put a little instruction out about it. But yeah, if you're having trouble clicking any of the links in these downloads, just save them to your computer first and then that should work fine. All right, everyone, uh, I'm off to, uh, to clean up and <laughs> have some breakfast. Uh, wherever you are in the world, thank you so much for joining me again. And I'll see you exactly the same time next week. And next week, we're actually going to be talking about images. So next week's all about images and finding free images that actually look good and that you don't have to pay for, most importantly. And we'll also talk about some software that you can use to actually create your Facebook ads and make them look amazing because one of the hardest things about Facebook ads and making them work is getting people to stop scrolling through their newsfeed and look at your ad and go, ah, okay, let's have a look in more depth at this. And the best way to do that is through your imagery or your video. So we're gonna talk about images, videos, uh, where to find editing software, where to find free pictures, where I get all my pictures from for my website. Uh, we're gonna share all of that with you. All right, so guys, thanks very much for joining me. Uh, again, if you've got any questions and you're watching the replay, feel free to leave that. I'll make sure I answer it. And until this time next week, when we go live for the last time before the webinar, I will say thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you really, really soon. Bye.